the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve. Anatomy, course, and distribution of the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve is vague. Clinical knowledge of the anatomy of this nerve is valuable. Due to its anatomical course, this nerve may become easily injured. Innervation C8-T1 Just before the formation of the ulnar nerve, the medial cord of the brachial plexus gives two branches, the medial brachial cutaneous nerve and the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve. The medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve innervates the skin of the anterior and medial surface of the forearm as far down at the palmar side of the wrist. The area of innervation is indicated on the diagram, the volar side to the right and the dorsal side to the left. It also innervates the medial and posterior sides of the elbow area. The medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve descends in the arm anterior and medial to the brachial artery. It lies on the ulnar side next to the biceps muscle before running distally. The medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve usually branches into two nerves, the anterior branch and posterior branch just proximal and the anterior to the medial epicondyle. The branches of this nerve always originate medially and run in an anterolateral direction. The anterior branch runs along the anteromedial forearm and the posterior branch crosses the field of an incision for decompression of the unknown nerve and it can be injured at that site. It is important to remember that the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve runs adjacent to the basilic vein. Clinical significance. Number one, the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve is an available donor for nerve graft, cable graft. The anterior branch is harvested, two finger breadth, anterior and distal to the medial epicondyle, and it is used as a graft for repair of traumatic defects greater than one centimeter of the digital nerves. The anterior branch also is used in nerve grafting of the brachial plexus. Number two, compression of the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve can occur with compression of the thoracic outlet. Number three, some people consider that nerve to be part of the under nerve and its innervation field is considered to be a proximal ulnar innervation. Number four, injury to the nerve can occur from surgical procedure in the medial side or the posterior side of the elbow. Injury may also occur due to steroid injection for medial epicondylitis. Also care should be taken during venipuncture, the basilic vein is close to that nerve. Number five, care should be taken when you dissecting around the elbow. The skin incision should be altered to protect this nerve. Otherwise, the nerve should be identified, retracted, and protected. Sacrifice of the posterior branch in the medial approach to the elbow or from cubital tunnel surgery can lead to numbness over the olecranon and to a symptomatic neuroma. Neuroma may need to be explored and buried. The standard incision used for surgery associated with under nerve at the elbow can cause injury of the terminal branches of the nerve. This injury can occur also from elbow arthroscopy. Differential diagnosis of neuromatosis from unknown nerve symptoms. Both the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve and the unknown nerve are in the same location 
and can give the same symptoms and can be hard to distinguish between them. You may want to use differential blocks to differentiate between both of them, in addition to elaborate clinical exam. When there is a sensory abnormality of an expected under nerve injury extending more than 2 cm proximal to the wrist crease, one should consider involvement of the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve, the medial cord, or CAT1 nerve roots. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you very much. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.